Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wolf Quest 3 Where we're here with Shade and Abyss Our lovely Colvitz Moon Pack members with the little litter Oh, we have to take a rest due to our low health and severe injuries Castro got sick. Lovely. Um, Hawk is on 15 pounds now. Our um, leg injury is done. And newborn ungulates. Ungulate mothers have given birth to their to this year's calves and fawns, elk, mule deer and pronghorn mothers hide their babies in strands of tall grass where they graze in a distance away. If you find one before the mother notices you, you'll have a nice meal to eat or to carry back to your pups. You can now eat small carcasses and chunks. Baby moose, however, stay with their mother and bond as they graze. How to find them? Look for patches of tall grass as you travel through your territory. Newborn elk, mule, deer and pronghorn emit no scent. But if you see a solo mother in the distance, you'll know that a baby is hiding nearby. Let's give them some food. Kestra is ill. Let's check. Hey, little one. Hawk doesn't want to come out. <laughs> That's the wrong button. It's prime hunting time. Hello, Hawk. Hello, Kestro. I know you're ill. Oh, Kestro. Eagle, what are you doing? Into the den. Look at that beautiful sun rising in the background.
Seems to be pronghorn, so no way we're gonna catch them. one of the newborn ungulates. Get out of here, coyote. Way too close for comfort on our. Oh. Is the mom there? Where's the mom? This music means that there is a fawn somewhere. Where the mom is hiding though. Basically if you pee in the thingy you will see the scent marks and know which one you already looked through. But there she is. A meal dear mom. Let's see if we can Maybe find one. They can be quite far away. And their mothers will usually charge you. If you get too close. Oh, I got it. Hunt newborn ungulates. You've killed a baby ungulate. As cute as it may be, it's a good meal for your pups. You can eat it here or carry it back to them. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Of course, our jaw had to be injured right now. As our jaw is injured, we keep having to drop this. But if we leave it... It's gonna get stolen, so we have to carry it all the way to the carcass to make sure no other predator steals it. No, it's very cute, but 
we need to feed our pups as well. Shade is very energetic. We're almost there. Just a little bit further. can really see the brown in this light. Most of the time he just looks completely jet black. important things to do at the moment and chase them away. Can't be away too long since little Castro is sick. Ugh, I don't like the crunchy noise when they have a broken jaw. That's enough. First you try and attack my mate and then... I'm trying to steal my baby ungulate that's for my puppies. shape doing <laughs> hey, 
get out of here. Can we just eat and pee? Just fill up on this bull elk and then get out of here. Bloody wolf nibbling on my pup's food. Not interested in hunting you at the moment, Melia. Your abyss has a very haunting howl. Exactly why I didn't want to leave the little fawn carcass. See what happened? Two random wolves appeared out of nowhere and tried to steal it. You took a nibble out of it. Go get your own ungulate newborn. Bison. No shade, we will not be hunting any bison today. We have to also change our den. I guess we can go down a bit. longer I guess at least moving them to the dens we were carrying our sick pup will count us us spending time with him being near him. But first we need to get some rest. Ugh. Why did it have to be the jaw?
Wow, that was a loud howling. I saw a fact when I was starting up the game. It usually gives you random facts about the, the animals in this game. And one of them was that a wolf pack can get out to 114 decibels with how loud they howling. Which is just insane. Definitely need some sleep though. Hopefully it will heal my jaw. Since you can't really do it without the jaw being healed. Such naughty pups. I guess our mate's injury healed. if we sleep a bit more even if it might be a bit risky time to leave soon oh almost all of your pups have grown to 15 pounds very soon it will be time to leave the den and travel to your summertime home base called a rendezvous site start planning your trip by opening the world map which now shows location of possible rendezvous sites in your territory then you'll feed the pups to get the smallest one over 15 pounds all right there's one right near us so, just a bit north of us. Hello, Kestrel. Come on, you can do it. is getting quite low. Not good. I 
All right. We just need to go over here to our right to east. I guess. I don't know. It's not nice that we have to leave Castro for a bit, but we really need to strengthen our territory. Otherwise, we'll possibly lose all our pups instead of just one. This way. still have food on our fawn. I'm more concerned with strengthening our territory as quickly as possible at the moment. there Go this way. I shall see you all in the next episode of Wolf Quest 3. I just really hope our little Bob Castro can pull through. But we shall see in the next episode Wolf Quest 3. Feel free to join me on any of my other adventures on my channel. Just look if you find something that you're interested in again. Hope you had a chill and relaxing time. Stay safe out there. In Until we see each other in the next episode. Until then. Bye bye.